Welcome to the channel. Today, I'm gonna to show you how to put a Band-Aid on a bullet wound. Over here, we've got this beautiful Silverado bed for the first two feet. Then it turns into absolute Swiss cheese. We got a uh, wheel well that is just about checked out. And what we're gonna do is add some diamond plate to the floor and make some new wheel wells for it. I've started by notching this piece so it'll fit in up there, and now we need to remove the wheel well. So what I suggest here is grab the wheel well like this and very gently tear it off. Okay, got it. Now, massage this back straight. That should be good. Oh, hold on, I'll fix that. There we go. That'll hold that for us now. That's nice, that's nice. Almost factory right there. Now we'll just go through and massage our high spots. Perfect. All right. Next, I'll take my marker and draw the opening from the inside here on the bottom. Should be really easy to trace with the lack of everything. Now for the sake of trying to make this square, we'll make sure these measurements are actually the same. Seven inches, slightly more than seven inches. So we're gonna call it seven inches. I'll just square up my end lines here. Now we'll cut this out, but we'll save this to use on the top. And remove. And we'll refit our piece. Watch the paint. Cut this little notch in down here, just so fit and finish is better. We're running out of daylight quick, so I'm probably not going to get this wheel well done tonight, but I'm going to slide another piece in so we can kind of get an idea how this is going to look. Could really still use some support in the center. It is so tempting to tear that center out just to bring that up. Oh, yeah. For sure. Does that tire look low to you? So I slid this piece of metal in here to flatten the bed out. We were a little squishy over here for some reason. And I'm just welding it to the frame. I'm gonna go ahead and restore this frame so it's all set after the new bed's there. Maybe down on that. Oh yeah, look at all that restoration. Restore the springs. Oh, restore that mud. Oh yeah, don't forget to restore that stuff. You almost missed removal of this one. Make sure to get your tetanus shot before you do this. some cuts for these wheel well pieces here so I can get this effect that I made in the box here make it look a little bit more finished. <laughs>
I'm over here getting carried away without the camera on, but we got some wheel wells made up. Starting to screw the uh, deck down to the back of this thing. Getting ready to tack these guys in place. Wheel wells, got some solid tacks in there. A little bit of stitching up the entire length of it. I haven't put any of the tabs in to tie the bed into the floor from the sides, but I've got screws in the front and the back. I'm gonna run it like this for a minute. Eh, kind of because I'm sick of working on it. And maybe it's okay. But yeah, I do have some tabs that I can add into the sides to tie these sides in as well. Uh, I just, uh, I don't know, I wanna throw a quad in and go riding now. I'm, I'm tired of working for a minute. Thank <laughs> you.